one important concept that you can associate with John Glenn is related to the term aerospace. The Air Force coined the term aerospace, but John Glenn was one of those guys who personified the term aerospace. We have some uh, objects associated with his 1962 orbital flight um, uh, in the Mercury program. Glenn flew aboard Mercury Atlas 6, his spacecraft he named Friendship 7. And we have some objects that he took with him, some film canisters, uh, things to hold things, socks, some overshoes and so on. Uh, and the reason we have them here is because Glenn has a connection with the Air Force. Uh, during that flight, of course, the Atlas booster came from an Air Force ballistic missile program. So uh, astronauts riding on top of this Air Force missile into orbit uh, was a significant moment, not only for the space program, but for the Air Force as well. Glenn served as an Air Force exchange pilot, uh, served in the Korean War flying alongside uh, Air Force pilots, and uh, served as a combat pilot there. 27 missions with Air Force pilots and uh, downed three MiGs along the way. The Mercury spacecraft that we have on loan is a flight rated vehicle. It never flew in space, uh, but it was made to fly in space. It actually provided parts for the last Mercury mission. And the things you can learn from looking at this vehicle is first of all, how tiny it is. This is a tiny little vehicle. The astronaut inside could barely move and didn't really have to move very much because the purpose of that vehicle was to prove that we could send a person into space, in the case of John Glenn, have him orbit the Earth a couple of times, control his spacecraft, and come back safely. You can see this spacecraft on loan from the Smithsonian in the museum's space gallery. Uh, when he was 77 years old, serving as an Ohio senator, he went back to space to become the oldest person ever to fly in space. If you go to see our space shuttle crew compartment trainer, you can see where John Glenn did some of his training for that mission because all space shuttle astronauts trained in our crew compartment trainer. It's the front part of our space shuttle exhibit. So you can go and see where he trained. The purpose of his space flight on STS-95, a space shuttle flight in 1998, was to study the effects of space flight on aging. So he volunteered himself as an aging person to go up and uh, go into orbit for nine days and conduct a bunch of experiments. And so there's yet another John Glenn example of public service. He's an aviator an astronaut, a senator, and then an astronaut again. Uh, he's that, that's why John Glenn is a hero. He has done all this stuff on behalf of the public. I guess you're about the only person around that doesn't have TV coverage of the scene. That's all right, I don't mind a bit. They've got the flag up now, and you can see the stars and stripes on the window. Are you getting a TV picture now, Houston? Neil, yes, we are getting a TV picture. You're going to have to be Olivia now.